Hey everybody, Tim here with the second episode of The Witcher, Season 1, Episode 2, Four Marks. This episode was significantly better than the first, I'm not even gonna lie. So it's kind of going more for almost like a Game of Thrones type feel, not like plot or anything like that, so don't freak out already. But as far as like multiple stories, but in the series, it seems like there's three stories going on. So I'm just gonna kind of segregate all three and then just talk about each of those. Um, at first we got Yennefer, the, the kind of hunchback deformed woman who's sold by her father. Her, she's, her dad sold the pig for, I think it was 10 marks, and then sold her for four, which, oh, there's the title. So already, like, okay, fuck that guy. But whatever, he sells her to Tiesa de Veres. I don't know how you say her name, so I apologize. Um, but a witch, he because she seems to, like, the witch is after her because she created a portal, talked to some dude, Ist Istred... God, I suck at these names. That's so awful. Um, but so she seems to have some sort of magical ability. So a witch wants to buy her. So it's like, okay, whatever. The interesting thing is you find out that her father was actually an elf. So, I mean, I don't think we've seen elves yet, but still, I was like, wow, okay. So like you got elves, you got witchers, you got witches, you got all sorts of stuff going on. And then, of course, it turns out that Yennefer and Istred are actually spying on each other. So it's like, okay, so you had me, and then you kind of started to lose me a little bit. But still, it seems kind of like an interesting little tie-in. Um, so curious to see where that's going. Uh, Geralt is a, basically a bounty hunter. Like, I, that's what I'm kind of getting from the character, is he just kind of goes around, oh, you have a monster that needs to be killed, and he takes care of it. Okay, uh, we meet Jasker the Bard. So this episode specifically, like I've seen all sorts of memes on Facebook and stuff like that. I don't necessarily get all of them, but this seems to be like a lot of them. The whole like, throw a coin to your witcher. I was like, oh, okay, so that's an actual song. Uh, the whole like him being like, did your mother fuck a goat? Did your mother fuck a snowman? I was like, oh. I actually thought that was just like clips or like pictures from the, the episode or from the series and somebody just thought it would be funny. Nope, that's actual dialogue. So I was like, okay. So that's uh, Silvan, Sy the Torque, whatever, the go. it's a fawn, let's be honest. So anyway, so we meet that character. Um, you know, Jasper actually has a really good singing voice. Like I was actually kind of surprised. I, I enjoyed the music. I might even look up the soundtrack depending on how the series continues. Um, I mean, I never played like D&D &D or anything like that. So like the whole bard and stuff like that, like most of that goes right over my head. But still, it was kind of interesting. It was entertaining. I liked it. I thought they had a fun little relationship. And I know most people ship them. Like they want them to be together. Um, which I don't know. I didn't get it in this first episode, but still it was kind of funny. Uh, we also meet uh Phil, Phil, Philver, we, we meet the Elfin King, um, who was, it was interesting, like, the whole thing about, like, their elves had to leave their homeland, and, like, now they're just scrounging for scraps, and this is where, like, Torque came in to get them scraps, so there's, this is the first episode, like, we've seen elves, oh, it's the second episode, big fucking surprise, um, but already, it's kind of building more of that, like, momentum, it's building more of that speed, so, I did like this one a lot more, like seeing the storyline of Yennefer, seeing the storyline of Geralt, and then we saw just a tiny bit of Cirilla, the princess from the first episode who meets um, Dara the elf, who's like this little kid um, that you don't know who's an elf until he takes his hat off. Okay, anybody who's seen Star Trek knows that's how you hide the ears. So not really a big surprise. I didn't know he was an elf, I'm not going to lie. But as soon as he took the hat off, I was like, oh, I'm not surprised. I didn't know it, but I'm not surprised, so whatever. Um, but overall, so like her storyline seems to be the smallest, the one that they're not focusing on the most, which probably means it's the most important. But Yennefer, Girl, Cirilla, three different storylines. This episode's definitely a lot better than the first episode. Um, but overall, I I think I am enjoying it a little bit more. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Go ahead, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time for Betrayer Moon.